The recent hurricane change which swept through Nigeria and brought to power credible and efficient leaders like President Muhammad Buhari, Vice President Yumiyo Simbancho, as well as other competent leaders also splashed across ministries, parastatals, agencies and other sensitive bodies in the country. National Health Insurance Scheme was amongst the bodies begging to be touched by the wind of change as most people have complained that it has not lived up to its given responsibilities. Professor Yusman Yusuf, a seasoned professor of pediatrics, was brought in to bring not just the urgently required change but to make it more responsive to the purpose of its creation. But like every push for positivity, negativity fights back. Professor Usman Yusuf was accused of misappropriation of 960 million naira and lopsided employment into the scheme and was summoned before the five-man ad hoc committee of the Senate, chaired by the Deputy Senate President, Senator Ike Ekweremadu. But he who has nothing to hide fears nothing. I have been, I have been on this seat for 10 months. When we came, fellow Nigerians, the sobering statistics we met is enough to sober all of us. Hospitals, 2 billion, 676 million, 292,257.04. He made himself available and spilled bitter truth some few persons would love to hate. You want to hear the issues? Ladies and gentlemen, from 2005, from 2005 to 2016, NHIS has paid HMO admin fee 39 billion 399, 394,590,361. If you add that to, if you add that to the admin fee during MDG comes down to 60 billion. What has he achieved so far in his short term as the Executive Secretary, National Health Insurance Scheme? What I have done for the first time in the NHI is to stop leakages of wastage, strengthen our procurement process. For the first time, NHI's procurement process is transparent. I seek you where you guys pardon. We have billions, millions, we are paying millions to them because they have increased, they have violated our database. Security agencies have said that. I have brought people and they have blocked it and they have in three months purged 23,000 enrollees. That is saving us 23 million. ICT is the key. Straight from our office, we will pay hospitals. We will pay hospitals and that we will do and save Nigerians money. I'm having to go and do all of that everywhere I go. They are telling me drugs are inferior. But we, we've been given money, uh, no questions asked. Yes, sir. You see us church. NHIS has been doing that. But we're going to stop that. That's why I stopped it from three months to one monthly. For services rendered. Now they are saying, oh, oh the month is ending, we didn't receive it. The last time you received three months ahead, what did you do with it? You did not pay. You did not pay. What did you do with it? You didn't pay. Now all of a sudden you are saying, there's no money, the world is coming to an end. As a pragmatic fellow, he has set some hard balls running too. The, the, the program we are selling is VC ship. I've been to mosques and churches. Our scriptures and our cultures say those who can afford, pay those who Pay for those. Those who cannot pay, pay for them. Those who are well, pay for the sick. I am asking and pricking the conscience of the rich and our people, including HMOs. Who then are the real men behind the mask? When I came, they told me, HMOs, uh -uh, trade carefully. They are owned by strong and powerful people. They have friends in high places. They make and make executive secretaries. So please, please, the message I got, do not rock the boat. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is sink this boat of corruption. 
और सिंक है When I came, I have seen the potential of the NHIS. This is an agency that has the potential to do a lot of good for our people. Many of us, especially you politicians, you go back home to your constituents. Who do we see? Who have you left home? The poor, the aged, mostly widows and widowers, women and children, the disabled, unemployed. When they get sick. They do not go to hospitals because they cannot afford to go to hospitals. And that is where the NHIS should come in. Help these our vulnerable people have access to healthcare. When I came, I've heard people talk about universal healthcare coverage, universal healthcare coverage. What is that? What it means is that we should cover all 180 million Nigerians. At its core, what it means is that good health care is a right. It's not only a human right, but a tool towards poverty alleviation. I hear people say uh, UHC, UHC. Give me a break, and I'll give you the correct number. I've had people say 30%, 15%. I have news for you, fellow Nigerians, because I signed the check. The number of Nigerians covered after 12 years is 1.5% of Nigerians. When I came, I asked my my team, "How much do HMOs owe NHIS? Because they are supposed to return some money to us, the one percent of their of the of the of their private uh, lives, of all 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 people service, one point something billion." I met with them in September and October and gave each one of them a letter. You pay this debt, or I'll delist you. Recoup my money and take you to court. And I'm happy to report to Nigerians they have paid NHIS over 95 percent of the debt they owe us. Now I am going on behalf of hospitals nationwide to recoup debt from HMOs of all hospitals nationwide. We have had over 3,000 NHIS hospitals currently as we speak. I have my men on the field. There's a debt over over 3.5 billion. HMOs have not paid hospitals. This is the consistent reason I hear why hospitals do not treat our patients well. They are not paying. Patients who go to hospitals, they get treated like lepers because HMOs have not paid. We used to pay them three months in advance. When I came, I stopped it to one month. From January, we are paying them monthly. They've taken me to court, asking the judge to hold me status quo. What is the status quo? Are you happy with the status quo? Twelve years of feeding fat on people—that's the status quo you want maintain. 1.5 percent of Nigerians. So they do not. They hold on to their admin fee, 37 billion over 12 years. They hold on to capitation. That they are supposed to give hospitals, and I have state by state, hospital by hospital, HMO by HMO. Here, the other one is fee for service. If you or any member of your family goes to hospital and gets charged, they bill the HMO. HMO pays. We have shown from research that only 25 percent of the fee for service we pay them three months ahead is used. So they should have, over the last 12 years, returned 75% of the fee for service. They never did. They never did. Facts are here. They hold on to admin fee, hold on to capitation, hold on to fee for service. We're talking billions. This is not small money. Professor Usman Yusuf is not perturbed, but more than ever ready. To push for the betterment of the scheme and Nigerians in totality. If you see the anger and the passion, is because of what I see. Is because of what I see. The money we have wasted, and the results I don't see. The patients I see, the hospitals I go to. Ladies and gentlemen, we are fighting for the soul of this crown jewel in this country. 
NHIS should not be allowed to die in the hands of HMO.